Hey guys, Mama One here again with build number 340. This is a fun build. Look, it's a smiley face. Um, this one is somebody else's idea, but uh, if you know whose it is, please let me know and I'll be sure to put it in the description below. I just couldn't find it. It's been such a long time. Um, I looked, but I just, I couldn't find the video. So if you can find it or if it's yours or you know whose it is, please do let me know. I am more than happy to give credit where credit is due, of course. Um, but this is a colorful one. It's a fun one. It's a big old smiley face. Kind of looks like a clown smiley face, but anyway, uh, yeah, this one took me a minute to do too, because I think I got off on my counting and I had to fix it and I was not happy about it. And then I just didn't want to start over. So, um, this down here, we'll start with the right side because the right side is the correct side. The left side, as you can tell, I'm off by one, um, but you can just build it right. Don't build it completely my way. So anyway, I used chiseled sandstone, <clears throat> and we're going to start with this bottom level. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven across. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then if you go back here. It is also 11 across, counting the corner, of course. Back here, you're going to do 11 blocks again. And, oh, okay. I didn't realize. Um, <clears throat> you're going to do 11 again. And then you're going to have, oh, God, one, two, three, four. You're going to skip four. And then you're going to go over another 11. Come around the corner, counting the corner piece, you're going to go 11. Again, counting the corner piece, you're going to go 11 on that wall. And then under here, you're going to have four block opening, and you're going to do 11 down that way and 11 down that way. Um, let's see. From Okay, on this exterior corner, dang it. You're going to go 10 blocks high. 10? 8 blocks high. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks high. You're going to carry that block, this whole wall, all the way over to this corner. The back corner. And then... You're going to carry those that sixth one. You're going to carry it over. And go out one more. One, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one up, you're going to go out one more. So it's going to have a lip over here. And that one is going to be carried up 12. And yes. So from this left corner, you're going to go over one and go one, two, three, four. Go over one and go one, two, three. Go over one and go one, two. Go over one, two, and then go up one, two. Then go over one, two, three, go up one, two, go over one, two, come up one, two, and then go one, two, three to bring you back to this one. So now you have a big hole right here. But if we go over, I know this is four, this should have one more block over here. But if you go over to, to your fourth would be sixth one, you're going to have a two block opening for your doorway, a double door, and above the door you're going to have two blue stained glass. And then you do your four stairs around your doorway. On this side, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, one over, a two high doorway, and two stained glass with your stairs. 
on the fifth one from the right corner all the way to the right is one, two, three, four. Oh, hold on. On this side corner here. I told you it was going to be a little weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. High. Go left one, up one, two, three, left one, and then up one, two, three, left one, up one, left one, two, up one, left one, two, three, up one, left one, two, up one, left one, two, and go all the way down to match the same level as this because you're going to want a lip. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you jet out one that matches all the way up there. Okay. And the rest of it is going to be filled in with the um, same block. We'll do the windows here in a second, but for now, just go ahead and fill it in if you want. Okay, so on this wall, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the seventh one, you're going to place red wool. And you're going to take that red wool all the way to the corner and let it jet out by one. See, one. That is here. Come down one and go over one. You place two wool next to each other. Come down one. Go over one, two with red wool. You're going to do the same thing on the back side. You're going to do one and then two, two, two. You didn't do the last two over here because you have a door. But you do not have a door on the back. So that takes care of the red. You're going to do the red, that same design that you did on the right wall, on the left wall. It's going to match. Now, we're gonna go to this right wall on the exterior again. So you have your red wool. Uh, right above the red wool, you're gonna have your uh, sandstone. You're gonna carry that over to the corner to match the bottom sandstone. And directly above that, you're gonna place gray wool all the way over. Directly above the gray wool, you're going to place cyan wool, <clears throat> excuse me, and carry that all the way over, jetting out by one, just like the red, on either corner. Then, on this corner, you're going to have two cyan, two cyan wool. And down one and over, you're going to place one. And then down and over, you place two. Down and over, you place one. Down and over, you place two. Down and over, you place one. Down and over, you place three. Counting this third one, or including this third one, right next to it, you're going to place your cyan wool all the way down to the corner, jutting out one, and this design that you did on the front is going to match the back. So by the time you get up here, you're going to be in line with what you placed. Okay. So then you jet in one. Now you've already placed that one when you were doing your wall. Okay. So let's start with the front wall like, I, like we already did. This, this wall with the block is already laid. So on top above this, you're going to place your gray wool all the way to the corner where this sandstone is. You're going to do gray wool directly on top of it all the way to the corner. Directly above that gray wool, you're going to place the yellow wool all the way to the corner and jet out by one like you did with the red and the cyan. Then you're going to go down and over, place one, down, over, place one, down, over, place one, 
one, one, one, one, one, one, one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Single staircase wool. You're gonna come down and place your 10th one and you're going to carry that over and connect it to the other side. So you're gonna have a total of four. You're gonna do the same staircasing you did there over on the left side. <clears throat> then what you're gonna do is on those two middle ones, you're gonna carry that yellow wool all the way to the end, jetting out one and do the exact same design you did on the front you will do on the back. Now, right behind the second yellow wool, to keep in line with the other gray wool, you're gonna do two rows of the gray wool, corner to corner, or end to end, and then come up and do two more rows all the way, two more rows all the way, and then three rows all the way. You're gonna do that exact same thing on the left-hand side. Nothing different. Right behind this last gray wool, you're gonna place blue wool. And you're gonna carry that all the way over to the other end, jetting out by one, just like we did with all the other colors. And you're gonna carry that almost all the way down. You're gonna carry that down to where you only have one block space between the yellow and the blue. And then you're gonna fill it in to go all the way to the other end. As you can see here. So you'll have a one block opening between your blue and yellow, your yellow and your cyan. Now if we go back over here to the front again, you have your three sandstone blocks at the very top. So if you go down to the second one, go over one, you place two red wool. Carry that red wool down by one, two, three, four, five, six, and have two red wool coming over. Staircase it up with one, staircase up with two, and then staircase back in with the one. That's gonna be your right eye, as I like to look at it. No pun intended on that one. Um, and then you're gonna fill it in with uh, red stained glass. You're gonna do that same thing on the left hand side, same thing. Then for your cyan, you have your two, one, this two section here, right above it, you're gonna have your blue stained glass. It's a two by two. You're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So now you have this whole section, this whole wall, <coughs> the back side, and the other wall. If you need to pause the video at any point in time, please do. It might make it easier. Um, then if when we go inside, I've got my pressure plates to close the doors behind me. But the exterior, the walls are already built, so you don't have to worry about that. So if we count from the doorway, this is your door block. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and then go over one, two, three, four. You're gonna place your sandstone stair, and then next to it, another sandstone stair. So you're gonna have double sandstone stair, sandstone stairs and they're going to go up one two three four and then a slab and then a single staircase going one two three and that's going to make you hit your blue wool that blue wool i'll show you where that came from is this down here i think 
Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Gotta go back inside. Okay. So as you can see, you don't have blue wool in here. It's just this bottom part here. The whole floor is sandstone flooring. Um, so you, after your second blue wool, that's when you do your staircase going down the other side. And that's, oh my gosh, I can't maneuver. One, two, three, and then turn around and go one, two, three, four. Under the stairs, I put uh, inverted stairs. Come on. And under these stairs, I put inverted stairs. So your upstairs is pretty open, it's wide. There is more than enough room to put in another platform if you want so that you have another story. Um, I just have it as two stories because that's how he built it. I kind of did tweak the staircases and how to get up to the second floor because I wanted it to be different. Um, plus, I just, I don't know, I just tweaked it because that's what I do. Um, you know, I mean, if you want to add a window here, you can. You add a window here and there, you know, that's fine. I would probably, if you do that though, I would stick with the colors that are there. So if you put a window here, I would probably use red stained glass. Um, same thing if you have a window down here or um, I guess those are the only other places that you can have a window. Um, well, I guess you could put one down here in the middle if you want, uh, I would use cyan stained glass. If you want to connect this on the bottom, you can. Um, that's up to you. As of right now, it is not. So if you connect it, you could maybe leave an opening here and walk through to the other side, or you can just take the staircase and you know go over and say, hey, look, I'm here. Um, this would be a great build if you have, if you're working with someone else and you're living in the same place, but want to have your own space, you could build a wall down the middle there upstairs so that it's completely separate. So kind of like a duplex. Um, but that's up to you. Of course, uh, you can use whatever blocks you want. Of course, this is your build. Um, I just, I love, love, love how this turned out looking like a like a silly little smiley face like a clown's smiley face it is the weirdest thing i've ever seen but i love it i think it is so cool one thing that i probably would change if i were to rebuild this would be to have the red to have the colored wool jet out of this wall so i have a lip like i do here how it sticks out i'd probably have it stick out on this side too i think not the gray wool probably, but the colors, I would probably have them jet out a little bit just to add that extra dimension. Um, so that's an idea that you might wanna consider as well. Another thing that I would probably do is, since I built this here, I didn't have any grass, but um, maybe in the middle have like a waterway or maybe just the water on the sides where the walls are and in the middle put grass or water in the middle with the grass on the sides, you know, just kind of decorate it up a little bit. But there was more than enough color on this one. I don't think I needed to add anything else. Um, but if you guys use this build and you do something different, please let me know. I would love to see what you guys did. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, constructive criticism, by all means, please do leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, also, like the video, subscribe. I've got tons of videos and even more coming. So I will see you guys next time. Enjoy. I'm glad you stopped by. I'll see ya. Bye.